So the aim of the Cluster of Excellence Resist is to achieve a significant advance in how we deal with patients that are, who are particularly susceptible to infections. RESIST is an acronym for Resolving Infection Susceptibility. So the name states our mission. We want to be able to both target the susceptibility, but also the agents, the bacteria, viruses, fungi, that play a particular role in these susceptible individuals. Examples include, for example, the small infant with respiratory syncytial infection. Why is it that the majority of small children only suffer from a fairly minor cold when they contract RSV, whereas a small proportion of children fall severely ill, may even end up in hospital, um, may need oxygen to survive? Um, it has probably something to do with their genetic makeup, but what exactly is the cause and how do the affected genes control in the normal situation RSV infection? If we knew the answer to that question, we could perhaps tailor therapies individually at these small children, at these affected children, and that might place, them, place us in a much better position to deal with the severely ill infant. Also, against RSV, we do not have many effective drugs, um, so we mount a concerted effort into trying to develop new inhibitors against RSV infections, for example. Another example is the child with cystic fibrosis who suffers badly, severely from um, bacterial chest infections. We know that what happens in these children is that because they're unable to clear these bacteria, these bacteria develop um, microbial communities, so-called biofilms. And these biofilms are extremely hard to treat with existing antibiotics. It's not so much the case that individual species are completely resistant, it's just that when they live in these bacterial communities, they are hard to get, get at. So of course one way would be to try developing a new antibiotic, but another way would be maybe if we could be clever enough um, to understand how these microbial communities interact with each other, um, we might find ways to disturb their interaction, to keep them from helping each other, and individually, these bacterial species might become much more susceptible to already existing antibiotics. There's, all, of course, the need to develop new antibiotics, and what we want to do there is we want to learn from nature. Um, these microbial communities are masters at working with each, other, with each other, at living together, and they do that by signaling to each other using small molecules that they secrete, that they produce, to tell each other what to do. And if we could um, harness these things, if we could understand them, if we could learn from their tricks, that might allow us completely new ways to deal with a bacterial um, infection. A further example would be cytomegalovirus, still the number one um, bug um, in transplant recipients. Um, we have drugs against cytomegalovirus, but too few. Some of them have severe side effects. So for some transplants, for example bone marrow transplants, um, clinicians don't like using them because of their toxicity. So there clearly is a need for developing new drugs and before we can do that we need to understand certain aspects in the life cycle of these viruses to the point um, where we can say here is a point of attack that we can use for a new drug. It wouldn't be us to develop the new drug, that's something for industry or for translational programs. But if we can come up with a new idea where to um, attack the viral life cycle at a new point, we can take that knowledge and we can collaborate with other existing structures in the Hanover Braunschweig region. For example, the German Center for Infection Research, whose remit specifically is to develop such new compounds. The so RESIST is unique in the sense that we bring together um, top clinicians who look after these patients on a day-to-day -day basis, who are expert in the clinical care of these patients. We bring them together with um, leading basic scientists who are experts in virology, in bacteriology, in immunology, in drug development. And um, by bringing these individuals, their expertise together, but also several participating institutions such 
not only Hanover Medical School, but the Helmholtz Institute of Infection Research in Braunschweig, or the Twinko Institute of Clinical and Experimental Infection Research in Hanover, or two of our partner institutions in Freiburg and in Hamburg. Um, uh, by doing that, we pool world-leading expertise in the agents, but also in the immune defects that we want to deal with. And that should put us in a position to make significant inroads into improving the care of patients who are particularly susceptible um, to um, such infections. I would like to see that in seven years' time, RESIST has helped us to forge a consortium of leading clinicians, enthusiastic doctors, brilliant basic scientists, um, and that together we will develop new ideas, put us in a position to move this field, field forward. And I think that Hanover is particularly well placed to achieve this because of the new combination of fantastic clinicians and brilliant scientists that we have here on site.